name is Susie Q. McWinner. It's very nice to meet you. And I'm here to join you in the wonderful adventure of... And the winner is... The sport of the day is racing. Does anybody know what a race is? Like, what, what is the definition of a race? My name is Ezra, and I am the expert on most things. <clears throat> By definition, a race must include a starting line and a finish line. <clears throat> the point of a race is to get from the starting line to the finish line before the other people. That's what the truth is. <laughs> that is the sport of the day. A race. You know me, I'm Miss Melinda, and we're here at my house. Why in the world are we in Miss Melinda's bedroom? Well, there's something in here that you guys might want to see. Now, my room's a little messy, but this is my closet. And in my closet is a shirt. The shirt says, Rock and Roll Chicago Half Marathon. Now, I didn't get this shirt at a garage sale or buy it on the internet. I got that shirt because I ran a race. I was a part of a half marathon this summer in Chicago, and I had to learn a lot of new things in order to be a good runner, in order to do a good job in a race. So I'm wondering, what kind of things make a person a good athlete in a race? Hmm. You've got to run this race. Keep the Why in the world is this important? Hello, my name is Ezra, and I am the expert on most things. And I believe that it is important to think and talk about what a runner needs and does, because in the Bible, Paul writes about the Christian walk being like a race. <laughs> That's what the truth is. <laughs> Today, our race contestants include a random brown stick. Oh, competing against a random red foot. Woo! Are you ready, runners? Yes, sir! On your mark, get set, go! Oh, it looks like the random brown stick is in the lead. Oh, the green, the red fork's getting in the... Oh, neck to neck, neck to neck, neck to neck, until... today is from the book of 1st Corinthians. Here's my Bible. I open it up, not to the middle of the Bible, but to the second half of my Bible, because 1st Corinthians is in the New Testament. We get past Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which are the four Gospels, the first four books of the New Testament, and then we hit Acts and Romans, and then the next book is 1st Corinthians. We're in chapter 9, I'm going to read from verse 24 to 27. Paul writes, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. In that passage, did Paul say that all runners that run a race win? No, he didn't. Paul says that our life is like a race too. He says, run in such a way to win a prize. Now, what are we supposed to do as Christians to do well in our race of life? What did Paul say? Let's see. He says that he doesn't run like a man running aimlessly. 
He does not fight like a man beating the air. He says he beats his body and makes it his slave so that after he's preached to others, he won't be disqualified. Other places, Paul calls this self-control. Self-control? Self-control. What is self-control? Self-control! Self-control means that we try to discipline ourselves to do the right things every day, even when we don't feel like it, and even when it's really hard. It means we wake up, we go to school, we come back home, Doing the things we know God wanna, would want us to do. Doing our best, obeying our parents, treating others with kindness and love and respect. What would happen if the runners in a race decided they were just going to go in whatever way they wanted to? Well, it would go something like this. On your mark, get set, go! Ooh. <laughs> is that runners in a real race that want to win will all run in the same direction, start at the same time, and follow the rules of the race. A winner in God's kingdom is one that will run the race in the way God wants him to or her to, not in just whatever way is easy or feels good at the time. Paul lived his life so he could live to know God better. He used self-control so everything he did would be pleasing to God. Like Paul, if we learn to run the race of life well, we will be winners. Winning the race of life in God's kingdom isn't about being the fastest or the strongest. It's about how we live and how we follow Jesus. Giving our best to Jesus means we'll be a winner in God's kingdom. And keep coming every Wednesday night. Because over the next 12 weeks, we're going to learn more and more about how to be a winner in God's kingdom. And you'll find out who the winner really, really is. Bye, guys. In a foot race, you usually use your feet to run. <clears throat> but there's other kind of races like swimming races and leapfrog races, so on and so forth. Come to Earth, you're the champion